going to do this time is put my embossing powder straight back in the jar before I get the heat gun out. Yeah, it's going to have a little bit sticking to the bowl. That's alright, I'll just move that out of the way. Put back on. It'll be a bit of a disaster if you don't put it back on. So, this is plastic, so it may melt a bit, but I've got newspaper underneath. So, that will save it, and it's on top of a crappy board. So, with the heat gun again. Just put it on low, and I'm just going to heat this from above, and I'm going to move my plastic containers out the way. On we go. I'm going to need a piece of paper, you don't get too close to your fingers, you can get very, very hot hands. Take some time here. A little bit closer. Hope this starts heating up. It's going to appear more. I'm probably going to get a bit closer. I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this off of this. I'm going to get this off of this. I'm going to get this off of this. Just try this one. Bubbling. Oh. No, no, no. So I'm gonna get Don't want it to burst into flames, remember? You are using a very hot heat gun. So I'm gonna turn it off. Noise over with, put it back on my my nice towel. It's cool towel. It's gonna be a bit warm. Let's zoom back out. Oops, sorry. Zoom back out. A bit warm. Here, <laughs> see? Look. Sticky mat on top of. So I've got newspaper and a crumpy board. And that's a little book. I quite like that. And next, what I'm going to turn off the camera and think about is making a little class for it. And see the heat spent down the pages a little bit and just play around with those, they'll stick back down. Let's bend them when it's nice and cool, bend them back. Once it's nice and cool, just put something heavy on top of it, should lay down. It's got the nice appearance now with the, the heat being an old warped tome of some sort. At the back. Need a little uh, something on the bottom. Let's do a little something on the bottom before I go. Brush, uh, brush, brush. Let's do it from my embossing powder. Teeny bit this time. Okay, that's more than a teeny bit, but just want to do some kind of design. I actually don't know what. So that's the front of the book, that's the back of the book, and I'm just gonna oh, it's probably a bit too much glue. Uh, some kind of some glue and then try and make a little swirly thing. I have no idea what I'm doing. It kind of looks like an upside down four leaf clover now. I did that a bit too. 
Let's make it look a little more centered by adding something over here. There we go. Bossing powder. Boop. Wash paintbrush. And glue brush. Considering, considering. That's actually probably alright, just let's get some of the little loose bits off before we do it, and I don't want it too close to the edge. Just gonna try and get off those edge bits, actually, I'll probably use my finger now. With my paintbrush. Sorry, I'm mumbling. You can see what I'm doing anyway. So again, I'm a little worried about that that melting yeah, and sticking to the paper while I've got this. Considering, considering. Um, let's try. Get my tweezers again. Open up my book. It's a little sticky from the heat. Heat's really moulded it together. I'm just gonna put the tweezers. Sorry inside and hold it while I do it so put that there for a moment let's throw the embossing powder back into the jar put that out of the way warm oh, ha and Use the scissors to weigh down my paper towel. Can you see this? Gave you my close up before, so I'm just gonna yeah, get it now. Do that nice and quickly. Put it in, turn it around. Put it in a nice little. No, it's on the back. Definitely. Back on my nice cool towel. Focus, there we go, just a little mark, which will be up this way. Can't really read it, can you? <laughs> Doesn't make sense, it's just a thing. Front cover, uh, my very painty hand, your sides, and a little marking on the back. Yeah, I'm gonna go away and think of a way to do a little clasp back soon. Now I've actually changed my mind. I don't want to make a clasp with this one, but this is a quick and dirty way to do a clasp. What I've done is just cut a very small rectangle of paper, um, put a thinner strip around it. What you can do is glue it to the front there, just bend it around. Let's, I haven't had the glue on here for long, so don't be surprised if it pops up. If you want to give it a nice curve then you don't want to have too many angles in it. So it'll look a bit funny. Just stick it. You can stick it on the outside, but you can also stick it on the inside here. About the middle of your book. And it around. Just tuck it in a bit there. Be stuck to your back cover on the inside. Turn it around, stick it on. You see why I don't really want one on this one. It's going to obscure my little bit of embossing. So that's it. You just have a little side 
on. Looks good. Turn that all stuff down, obviously. Um, probably want to move it backwards a bit so you've got this whole rectangle on the face of the book. And if you like, once you've done that, you might want to draw a little miniature lock on there. If you can draw a little miniature lock. My pencil. It's a terrible little miniature lock, but you, you get the idea. Let's hold that down. So you've got your little lock, probably a gold clasp, you probably want to paint it gold. It goes in and it attaches to the back cover on the inside. But if I was doing it, that's how I'd do it. I might even cover this with glue, cover these two bits separately with glue, or maybe even just the front rectangle and do it glue and gold embossing powder just so it looks it's nice and, and raised and looks like a piece of metal. You could even uh, just put some embossing powder on the piece of cover that's a little bit larger so that when it curls down the edges to meet the paper you can cut it off and it'll look chunky. That's just an idea. I really don't want one on this one. Maybe I'll do one later. So, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.